Welcome back to another Black Sad video. Yeah. Ah, meant to be teacher. So do go with you, with you, yeah. Shaka bola la la, go with you, yeah. The fuck is this clue? I'm much taller than Dunn, and I can barely reach the noose. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. Not on his own, at least. Don't, mm, dude, I'm so done. Mm. PlayStation, hello, do you, are you real? Like, you gonna do <laughs> something? God, did I press the home button? My PlayStation's like, oh, sorry, I don't know how to do that, so I'm just gonna freeze. Bobby, yeah. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. <laughs> Christ, did Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? Next Monday, it's gonna be 54, bro. I always knew Bobby had issues. Getting cold. But I never thought he'd go that far. I couldn't say. In my line of work, you really shouldn't jump to conclusions. But the chest expander, the box in his locker, the marks on my father's neck. It all leads to him. In any case, that doesn't change a thing. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. My father's still dead, and you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. So please hurry. Time's wasting. Sonia's indifference never ceased to amaze me. But most importantly, why was she so opposed to Yale? <coughs> John Blacksad? I think I owe you an apology. Apology accepted, but what exactly are you apologizing for? <laughs> uh, listen, I don't think my fellow workers treated you with the respect you deserve. I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh, they didn't know we shared a common goal. Bobby Yale. I want to find him and get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Blacksad. So please. Kindly accept my invitation. Why not share our findings? Come on. Of course. 
You don't mind me riding in this fancy car with a wrinkled suit, do you? Oh, I think you look mighty dapper, Mr. Blacksad. Although, if those wrinkles were to rub off on me... <laughs> I always play it nice and safe. Thank you, Black said. You won't regret this. So let's cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Let's work together. I don't work with criminals like you. Oh. I didn't expect you to play the morality card so soon. Please, hear me out. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days, and you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. And most importantly, we're not hurting anyone. So, yeah. I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? It's illegal, for starters. Illegal? Let me tell you what should be illegal. The way our government is ruining America. We live in a so-called free country. A place where honest people can make a living, provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Well, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me... I'm not either. Ha! Ah, well, then, you see? We're all among friends. In any case, that's it's not my just point. A the government betrays our nation's values by passing bad. communist laws that forbid an oh, honest man like me are. to make a living without hurting a soul. And that, Mr. Black said, is just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Do you get my point now? All right. I get your point. Ha! <laughs> I knew you would. When the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that turned America into a great nation. Civil disobedience. So, as the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. Sure, but there's no room for your ways in civil disobedience. My ways? Oh, I know what you're getting at. But what's past is past. I wasn't always a boss, you know. No, sir. I started at the bottom when Lucky Blitzen ran the show. His was a reign of terror, extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant thing. When I took over, I decided I'd make people want to do my bidding. Not out of fear, but out of gratitude. I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ah, ah, ah. Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective. That you were on our side. Maybe at first. But when they tied me up and beat the socks off me, they knew very well who I was. Seriously? That goes against my rules. Who was it? It was just Wilson. That bastard. Don't you worry. I will have a serious talk with him. I cannot tolerate this behavior. Please, accept my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You see, a lot of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that, St. Christopher's Hospice practically lives on my donations. The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get free schooling. The cops leave me alone 
because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. On the contrary. And, ah, it looks like we're here. Yale's apartment? <laughs> I told you, I'm on your side. Go ahead, search the place. I'll wait down here. When you're done, maybe you'll change your mind and share your findings with me. Or not. It's your call, Mr. Black Sad. I'll make sure you're suitably compensated. Wilson, come here. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I... I barely know him. Hmm. A woman's fragrance. Almost angelical. Loba, loba. That means she's been here recently. Why? What does Sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, but it's good to know. Seems like Bobby inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. So, you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Unless you're a bachelor, that is. Is his father ever, ever, Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? When I left, I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left for Mary's. But before all that, I took a small parting gift for her. I've never trusted angels. <clears throat> Mr. Black's hat? What a... Surprise? When they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So, after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. So you knew that Yale was with Dunn when he died, and yet you told no one? I guess I just forgot. Everything is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. Blacksad. Don't be. I'm here to figure it all out. What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Okay, 
I think it's time to set things straight. I know you were cheating on Dunn with Yale. Or was it the other way around? No. How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? I'm not white, Mr. Blackside. What? Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Segregated housing, with far worse homes for colored people. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that. That damn nonsense. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great-grandparents were. I completely understand you, Mary. Just think if you were also a woman. He's my nephew, Mr. Blackside. Joe and I first started taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. You should have told me this sooner. I've been hiding it all my life. I'm sorry. Mary smells like... Actually, the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven. So I can't identify any other fragrances. Fresh out of the oven. The whole room smells like pie. TV and radio all in one. Where will these mad times lead us? That cherry pie smells so good. I'm starting to get hungry. Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the Let me go get a knife from the kitchen. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ, coffee? I'll pick some coffee, thanks. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures, so she's probably telling the truth.
<laughs> Feels good to stretch out now and then. You should open a bakery and sell these pies. <laughs> Thanks. Joey used to say the same thing. About Sonia Dunn and the ring, I managed to hide the truth from her. I appreciate it, but at the same time... What? No, nothing. Maybe... Maybe she has a right to know. I couldn't help but notice a queen-size bed in the room. You what? Sorry. I had to make sure Bobby Yale wasn't hiding in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Joey bought this place. It was going to be our home after the wedding. I left my apartment and moved in so I could save some money. If he had left his own apartment and moved in, you could have saved twice the money. I'm no hooker, Mr. Blackside. Now that oh, they missed the Loba Loba. The scent has also disappeared. Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Mary, when are you going to stop lying? They call me Mr. I Loba Loba. Mr. Bombastic. What? Mr. No. I already told you I don't know who he is. a freaking gymnastic. Stop playing around and tell me. Where is he? You can search the whole gents. house if you want. Today, Go ahead. Today, ladies and gents. He's not here. If he's not here right now, he must have left shortly before I got here. Where did he go? Shortly before you got here? I wish. Hello, hello, mate. You want to sort of talk to these kids? Well, <laughs> <laughs> look at you, bro. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that. Call me Mr. Loba Loba. Mr. Bombastic. Mr. Fantastic. That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. So, that's why you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Could you step aside so I can check, please? Uh, please go. Mary, for Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Leave or I'll... Mary, please, calm down. I mean it. I don't want to hurt you. Leave her alone! The fuck? Bobby! Call my mustard all my loba. Mustard all musty, dude. Loba Loba, Mr. Bombastic, Mr. Fantastic. Come on, you gymnastic. Stop it, Valley. Stop it, Valley. You don't know what 2 plus 2 is. I'm 
on your side, Bobby. But I'm not on yours. <laughs> Okay, so apparently if you want to suck a dude, you gotta explode from a fucking kick cap bar. Dead man. Dead man tell no tales. Oh, he's on a level monster. Just a monster. Call an ambulance. Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. Now, in the face honestly, of a heart attack, I'm gonna think about it. There's two things one, you can't two, forget. I'll tell you, it's the four. One pop, two pop, three pop, a four. One suck, a four pop, a four. four. One, stay calm. Two, one chest compression per second. One Mississippi. <gasps> two Mississippi. <gasps> three Mississippi. <gasps> four Mississippi. <gasps> Five Mississippi. <gasps> Six Mississippi. <gasps> Seven Mississippi. Yeah, your asshole. I want to fucking lick it, lick it, lick it, lick it, lick it, lick it. Because if you think Bobby. about it, you got a big dick. Let me tell you something. Hey, then. Want to go to Jack's later tonight? I have oh, lots of right. reasons to consider this. You're all right. Yeah. Okay, Daddy. I had investigated a suicide. <clears throat> I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. And if I your name starts with a B or a W or a William Sparks, then you're gay. <clears throat> what about a J? <clears throat> Joking hazard, ooh, it sounds me screamed that something was going wrong. Terribly wrong. <laughs> Promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I <laughs> what the hell? A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. I hate detectives. Bang, bang, bang! You're dead meat, cat. That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? Dinner, dinner is served, Daddy. Yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. Who is that? Can we trust him? I know how to pick my men, John. You? I'm not so sure. You promised me you wouldn't intervene. Bobby Yale attacked me. I had to do something. If you had warned me, maybe you could have avoided his assault. We'll be back in a minute. Anyway, what's done <laughs> is done. <laughs> when, when exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after <coughs> all. 
As soon as I realized that the murder weapon belonged to him. How about the motive? Any ideas? <laughs> I knew Dunn wanted to call the fight off after something Yale did, but I still don't know what. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. Would you let me ask him some questions when he wakes up? I know you will, with or without my permission. So, I'd rather not feel betrayed. In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. She's been through a lot in the past days. Be nice to her. Of course. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. I will. Thanks for the advice. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. For your sake, I hope you're wrong. You're in charge now, officer. Okay. I'll send you relief in six hours. Understood? Doctor. Who are... Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me. Let's just say I got lucky. We, as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust that it's natural and well-founded. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh yeah! Go check on him before he falls asleep again. Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. Hey, first vid. What's his current condition? Um, it's too soon to tell. <laughs> he did have a heart attack, after all. <laughs> Go away. I don't want to see you. The doctor told me to sleep. Hey, I rarely get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. <laughs> when... His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying, but it could also just be pure, unadulterated rage. <laughs> He's clenching his fist, a sign of contained anger. He's looking straight at me. If he couldn't hold my stare, I'd think he's lying. But that's not the case. Clenched fist, fast heart rate, fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. I'm sorry you don't want to see me, but... I saved your life, son. Maybe my aunt feels gratitude. I certainly don't. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. All right, I'll just cut to the chase. Hold 
Why did you kill Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe hanged himself. Is he lying? Or did his heart rate speed up out of rage? He opened his hand. That's a sign of honesty. He seems about to burst into tears. Is he angry or sad? I know the murder weapon was yours. What? The rope? I don't get it. What weapon do you mean? Don't play with me, boy. The chest expander. An expander? I've never had one of those. Is he being honest? It slowed down a bit. Is he saying the truth, or is he falling asleep? He's holding my gaze. He's not lying. I know Dunn threatened to call off the fight. Why? How do you know that? I'm a detective. <coughs> that was his anger talking. He never really meant it. That doesn't matter. Why was he so mad at you? What did you do? Nothing. Joe thought that I wasn't training hard enough. That I was going to lose. All right. Let's just say that I... I believe you. The murderer killed Dunn with a chest expander and planted evidence to make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues behind to make sure we found the true murder weapon. <coughs> then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame you. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a mo- I... I don't know. Hey Gage, did you know you can spawn Spider-Man in GTA? Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. No. Did he have anything against Dunn? I'm not it's sure. A, um, each other. a zero point At zero 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 five percent chance. About a month chance. ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. Yeah. He was trying to give How him some to Tupac. Oh, you have to go to yeah, the exactly. Hall of Fame. Tell you about that? In... Something or like not that. the Hall of Fame. What's it called? What's the place with all the stars on the ground in California? What about Frank Cassidy? Uh, the Holly. That's the. Uh, that's the uh, a few weeks ago, Joe took him to the know. boxing manager's association. It's the Hall of Fame, isn't it? Headed no, by I, don't, I don't remember. No, it's the. Uh, it's a Broad Street. I don't even fucking yeah. know. He was obsessed but, uh, with you have to go there in GTA and without a man. there's a chance of Spider-Man spawning. And then manager. there's a certain tattoo shop you can go to in GTA 2 and Tupac will Everyone be Everyone seemed to go along with it until <laughs> Joe spoke up. It's pretty dope. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association to just to make money by monopolizing the sport. And find a turkey yeah. sandwich for free. That made others think twice. And contagious. Billy is so Billy is so gay. Hey, Billy is so, so gay. Every single day he what wakes up with his butt. Jake could never pull off something like that. <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. Yo, yo. Uh, likes how do you eat a cock? What about Sonia? What you want to do first Sonia. is eat it. I doubt it. <clears throat> what you want to do she's second odd, is but she's his daughter. eat it. I've seen worse. Believe me. Then what you want to Black do third son. is. Eat it. I think I owe you an, uh... uh <coughs> you know, my father disappeared when I was six. Right after winning a fight. Have you ever done that before? We never heard from him. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that does to a kid? 
Who knows where I'd be if Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way and put a gun to his head years later, he still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. Thanks. My internet is not connected. He disconnected. Hey, Billy, have you ever disconnected? He disconnected. You're welcome. Did he really? Lights out. Where's this game? Like actually? Oh. Like actually? Yeah, like actually. I thought about it actually. I like eating cheese. <gasps> I like eating meat. I like eating what or what in a key. Bro, Billy, I saw the gears again. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's freaking weird. Oh, are you, you swear to God on your life you actually were tripping? Yes, so hard. Bro, you're fucking lucky ass. I did nothing. Yeah, we were gonna give you more, but you didn't want any. I guess I didn't want to. But I thought wow. we should have like 20 grand so we each have like a million or something. No. What? The footprints don't match. If Yale killed Dunn, he did it without stepping in. I wish we had a lot more grand. Or in different shoes. Like if we had like 20 grand, we could each have like, like, uh, on what? Uh, on my car. I'll do it, bro. I don't huh. know how I did the induction handsome? system because I don't even know what an induction system is. Wait, what game are you playing? B Minji Drive. I can hear you. I can hear your. <laughs> my car's about to go in this fresh water, dude. Well, it landed in the water, but not the way I wanted it to. Hmm. God dang it, bro. They ran several tests on Bobby Yale last night after admitting him. Have the results come in yet? Hmm. No, I don't think so, handsome. God dang it, I didn't see that. I'll take a more of these, please. Honey. Get me a pack of Morley's for Mr. Handsome. <sighs> I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. 